Well, it's been a big year. 2023 has had a lot of things going on with 3D printing. With bamboo printers coming to the mass market, Creali launching their K1 series, and Anchor getting in the game with their Anchor Make series, a lot has happened. And if you're not sure where to look or which 3D printers to buy, you've come to the right place. Because today in the Maker Lab at Micro Center, we're gonna be taking a look at a whole host of 3D printers, giving you the specs and the features that you need to make a wise buying decision for your next 3D printer. We're gonna start here in the lab and then make our way taking a road trip out to our brand new Indianapolis location so you can see some of the 3D printers in the store as well. Starting out in the entry level of sub $300 printers, we've got a couple of Creality's bed slingers. These open frame style 3D printers really allow you to see how all of the parts work together to create your 3D printed masterpiece. So the first printer on our list is the Ender 3 V2. This printer has become an old standby when it comes to entry level 3D printers. With a glass bed, Bowden style drive, and a color screen, you get a lot of cool features, including the parts tray. And this printer is great for those of you looking to do some basic upgrades and really mod this printer out. The printer can be found right now for $199, but from time to time, you can find it for less than that with new customer coupons. The Ender 3 S1 updates a few of the features from the V2 by including a flexible magnetic PEI build sheet, a filament runout sensor, a direct drive extruder, and included CR touch for auto bed leveling. All of these features are easily worth the price around $279. This model also features USB-C and a full-size SD card for connectivity. The last printer in this entry-level price band of sub $300 printers is the Ender 3 V3 SE. Coming in at roughly $200, this printer adds a lot of bang for the buck and includes things like the spring steel build plate, the CR touch for auto bed leveling, the direct drive extruder, and the printer itself is touted to go upwards of 250 millimeters per second, which makes it the fastest in this category. So having a printer at around $200 that can do 250 millimeters per second is really great. And we're excited for you, the customer, to come in and check it out and see what you can do with it. Next, we have our mid-tier price range. This price range goes from roughly $300 to $700. And in this price band, we introduce some new players. We've got two printers from AnchorMake, and we've got a printer from Bamboo Lab. These printers in this price range now focus on some new features such as internet connectivity. Think about being able to control their printers from an app on your phone. These printers also focus on things like speed and ease of use. First, we're gonna take a look at these AnchorMake printers. The first two printers in our mid-tier range are the AnchorMake M5C and the AnchorMake M5. The AnchorMake M5C comes in at roughly $399 and is really aimed at new 3D printer enthusiasts. With a single button to do most of the controls and an easy assembly, the AnchorMake M5C is a great choice for people first starting 3D printing or people that want to put a 3D printer in their home for the first time. So here we have the Anchor M5. This is Anchor's first foray into 3D printing, which was released a little over a year ago now. And this touts speeds upwards of 500 millimeters of second. And it has some nice features, such as this color touchscreen, a USB-C port for connectivity and loading files, Wi-Fi so that you can grab a connection to it over the internet. And it has an AI camera, which checks for spaghetti detection or whenever you have a failed print and a mess of what we call spaghetti on the bed from the filament. All right, so the Creality K1 is our first printer on the list that is fully enclosed. What that means is that you can print with some more difficult materials such as ABS, ASA, and even some carbon fiber materials. Another great feature of this printer is the speed. It's touted at 600 millimeters per second. It also includes connectivity to Wi-Fi so that you can actually send your prints from the Slicer app. And then what I really like is this 4.3 inch touchscreen here, which allows you to control the printer very easily. It allows you to get through the menus like a breeze. Um, if you want to load files the old fashioned way, you do have your USB on the front. The other nice thing about the Creality K1 is that you can add Creality's AI camera, which allows you to do remote monitoring and time-lapse videos. So in our mid-tier level coming in at 599 is our only Delta printer on the list with the FL Sun V400. 
This has a radial bed or a circular bed that sports a 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter by 410 millimeter build size. It has an all metal direct drive hot end and this thing can go fast. It says it clocks out at 600 millimeters per second and it also comes with a variant of clipper on its speeder pad. This is a printer you might want to look at if you're looking for a large build volume and you're looking for fast speeds. The last printer in our mid-tier from $300 to $700 is actually the first printer from Bamboo Lab on the list. The Bamboo Lab P1S is a great first printer for you if you're into multi-material printing. It's basically an upgraded version of their P1P printer with a fully enclosed body and you can add up to 16 colors with the AMS system. You can buy the P1S either as just the machine or the combo. What's nice about the P1S is that it comes stock with the camera, with the carbon filter, and with the auxiliary part cooling fan already installed. And of course, like all of the Bamboo Lab printers, it has Wi-Fi connectivity built in, which allows you to access it through the Bamboo Lab slicer. Rounding out our printer buyer guide at the top tier with printers starting over $700, We've got two, one from Creality with the K1 Max and one from Bamboo Lab with the X1C Carbon Combo, which includes the AMS. In this price range, we've got a few new features, including on both of them, automatic flow compensation using LiDAR, basically a way to make sure that the filament coming out of the nozzle is at a good rate. The first printer in our top tier price band is the Creality K1 Max coming in at $899. This printer expands on its smaller sibling with a full print bed size of 300 millimeters cubed. Like the K1, it also includes the touchscreen and Wi-Fi connectivity. But unlike the K1, it includes a wired ethernet jack in the back. So if you're one of those people looking to create a 3D printing farm and you wanna hardwire everything, this could be the printer for you. This printer also comes stock with the AI camera and the AI LiDAR. So you can help with flow compensation and remote monitoring and time lapses. We really think that if you're someone looking to print larger models, such as cosplay helmets or larger parts, this could be the printer that you've been looking for. All right, the last printer on our guide is the Bamboo Lab X1C Carbon Combo, which includes the four color filament AMS, Automatic Material System. The cool thing about the Bamboo Lab printers, including the X1C, is that you can have up to 16 colors in your hopper at one time if you add on an additional three AMS units and the Bamboo Lab hub for the AMS. What's also cool about this machine is that unlike the P1S and the P1P, it includes a beautiful touchscreen which allows you to get through your files and access different menus way easier than the other screens. Like the others, you do have access to this machine over Wi-Fi using either the Bamboo Handy app or via the Bamboo Slicer app on your PC or Mac. So what's really cool about this, like uh, the P1S, is that it is also an enclosed printer which allows you to print more difficult filament types such as ASA, ABS, and carbon fiber type filaments. We really like what we've seen in the past year with Bamboo Lab and how it's been pushing the industry as a whole to add new features to 3D printing that we haven't seen before, such as the micro LiDAR, such as flow compensation, such as automatic material switching uh, out of the box. So there are many more 3D printers than we've been able to cram into our guide today. And there's a lot more on display and available for sale at your local micro center. But don't forget to come in and talk to one of our educated sales associates about 3D printing they're the ones that really know this stuff inside and out and will help you with whatever your 3D printing needs are. And one last thing, don't forget about our wide variety of inland filament. We've got over 500 unique SKUs in inland filament alone. Everything from PETG to PLA, Tough PLA, PLA Plus, and ABS. Stop in to check out all the different colors and variations. Well, that was a lot of information and we hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below what your favorite 3D printer is. And we'll see you next time in the Maker Lab at Micro Center.